Welcome everybody. This is David from Aquapower Limited. And again, we continue with our questions and answers regarding how to use Aquamatica and anything related with Aquamatica. Aquapower is you can count on us. So today I have a question from Kate regarding where to find the push notification and also how to access it. So Without further ado, I uh, will just log in and I uh, will try my best to show you and uh, to make the brief as possible so I can answer the next question. So I uh, sign in now. And as usual, beautiful view from Acomatica. If you sign in, and I believe Kate, you have something similar related to what we see in here. So um, I will go to menu, right? And yeah, it's true, you won't find it here. I agree with that but you go to more items and just scroll down scroll down to the end and you'll see this integration just click on it you did mention this but here you have to always show all in this case you can see the integration uh, preferences and processes transactions and profiles and we will be talking about this push notification as you suggested in your question. So when I click on that, um, a new uh, page is going to open and here, uh, as you can see, the both left and right hand side uh, uh, boxes empty. And why it's like this is because we have to select the destination name or select the destination type. So if you are familiar with this you know exactly what you're doing and if you are not always make sure that you have this field filled before you move ahead because in that way you can get the exact data that you're looking for so in this case i will click the destination name and here we have the section of uh, uh, will pop up and you can see the comments so i will just double click on that and again it's how it's going to be configured at your end is exactly what you're going to see so this is what i'm seeing and i believe that exactly if you follow uh, this instruction exactly this is what you are going to see uh, like this or you see something similar to this based on your company's configuration yeah here we have some few notification from the push category customers uh, stocks shipment and prices as you can see um, in, a, in a checkbox and uh, if let's say you want to see uh, customers from the push notification you just click on the checkbox and you want to view the inquiry as you requested yes you can do that uh, you can do it by um, clicking on view the inquiry and one thing I want to add actually uh, you can also add a row and configure it uh, yourself so in this way you can design it uh, uh, according to what ex exactly you want to see so that the next time you want to access your push notification you go directly to what you designed and what you have created for yourself so when I hit view inquiry uh, another page will open which will in turn show me the information that I'm looking for right and here yes we can see the comments uh, bc binding the entity and the ar customer so kate this is exactly uh, uh your question and uh, this is how you can assess your generic inquiry from the push notification and I, I believe from your end if you go through the steps that i've just showed it will show you exactly the information that you're looking for and this is it and here also you can the Acumatica always make sure that they are customers you know the user is getting what exactly he's looking for it's very intuitive and very easy to access so you can see uh, they have this uh, sections of parameters that allows you to you know pinpoint exactly what information you're looking for let's say you have a bunch of data you want to see the results in grid you want to sort by order by grouping by conditions and by parameters Acumatica has your back and he has already pre-organized all this in the system and that way it will be easier for you to access and get the exact information you're looking for making it 
much much more convenient in your working environment and i believe kate i answered your question and uh, if you want more of this subscribe to our youtube channel if you want more of this you can visit our website akupower.co.uk or you can email me or email our team you can visit us on twitter on facebook uh, LinkedIn and uh, you can get more information about what we're doing, how we can help you to get the utmost best from Akumatica. Thank you all very much and see you in the next video.